200 years ago this church was completed and the first Mass was celebrated on the 18th of December, 1816. And this was a significant event in the history of the Catholic Church here because up to then there had been no permanent fixed place of worship for the Catholic population, which was growing then because of the arrival of people from the Highlands for work and then people from Ireland uh, fleeing the famine. So a rapidly expanding population needed a place of worship and uh, the priest in charge of the Catholics in Glasgow at that time was Father Andrew Grant and he had the vision to see that the, 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 the church was in need of a, this kind of place of worship. So he, with great courage he undertook the building of this building and it's still standing, recently renovated of course, about five and a half years ago. When this church was built and then it was known as St Andrew's Chapel, this was quite a quiet part of the city. There was no industry and commerce on the river. Old sketches show the river at low tide and people could cross it on foot. Uh, so it's quite different now and of course a generation or two ago different again. There was a lots of commercial activity even as far up the Clyde as, as this part here. Now it's um, a pleasant place to walk past with the walkway along the Clyde. Um, next door on, on my right here we have the, the offices of the Archdiocese of Glasgow and with the renovations we took the opportunity on this side to build a garden and in the middle there is a, a monument, a uh, rather attractive piece of modern art which attracts a lot of interest with its mirrored panels and uh, inscriptions from scriptures and from poetry and flowing water and rather unique for Glasgow I think an olive tree from Tuscany which has survived three Glasgow winters so far so we think it's getting well established. When we undertook the renovations we seized the opportunity of putting in some new artefacts, notably here the baptismal font made from Carrara marble, a painting of the martyr St John Ogilvy done by Peter Howson and gifted by the, the artist to the cathedral and even basic things like the lights and the chandeliers were specially designed for the cathedral and of course the, the garden outside with the, with the mirrors. We find here in St Andrews that we have a lot, a lot of different communities. The parish, the resident parishioners are quite small in number but they're very faithful. It's a popular place, easy to find along the riverside and a memorable place I think for people to come in either as tourists to have a visit and see a beautiful building of which Glasgow has many or to come for prayer and or to join in one of our masses. <laughs>